Cool. The other part of this is Leona's Band, which would be a great pick into the Rakan, but Rakan feels just pretty either neutral or somewhat winning into a lot of comps, and basically, even if the laning phase isn't amazing, there's the Nautilus you were talking about. That's great. Yeah. I, I think Noxium is still going to be really happy with this. I was actually looking... We'll have to wait and see, as BNK Ferrex are the favorite team coming into this one, but who is going to pick up game one? Let's find out now. The level one is so much stronger for Nongshim, so there isn't really a whole lot that BNK can do. I think you just have to accept this, so good use of the level one here. Oh, man. Duro almost dashed into the hook, <laughs> which would have been really a big disaster. Jiu does take a big ton of damage, and it does look like BNK Ferrex want to fight over this, but... Uh... As the Zyra, without any plants set up, I, I'm not sure if you really can, but it does look like Nongshim are going to back away. Oh. I, I And just let it happen. I, I don't think they should have. Yeah, I think they could have forced the issue. Yeah. Mm. That's very rough. <laughs> uh, that's, that's, whew. Yeah. Uh, no, that's, that's not where you want to be, Valdes. Uh, we do get a good hook here. Yeah, good hook, but uh, Barrier already used, and Chiu's going to get knocked up already. And, you know, he took a big chunk early on. He is able to trade back very nicely on Aduro, even gets the double up on both of them. Nongshim playing towards their stronger bot lane. And it will be Hexec next. Mihao, oh, he is low on mana, but oh does have two cookies. He can't really clear the wave, and now he's just going to get rooted by the Zyra, not able to avoid any of that. And so it's first blood handed over to the Renekton. A whole lot. I mean, if Jiu's just going to get knocked up, the Seri ultimate for the follow-up. Jiu's in a lot of trouble, probably going to have to flash away from this one, but Gugger does get in front of him. And some of the bouncing damage does go in, and they just kind of utilize the walk strategy. Couple of summoners utilized by both sides. If it's a perfect... Wait, oh, man. you just saw him clearing the wave. Oh, he's going to be rooted, and now Mihail might be dead. He is going to go all out, trying to take out clear, and he does get the kill. He knew that he could stay and get the 1v2, and that he does, just barely. Halfway point for Fisher as we take another look. What I really liked is that he was able to avoid the damage by using the all out. So both getting yourself out of range of the Zyra while simultaneously getting the damage you need to take down Clear. And he's still behind. Black Lever not done for Clear, which I actually think is a really good item into Nongshim. Really want to play for these grubs. Yeah, might just be able to pick them up there. About to spawn, but take a look at this. A 1v1 down on the bottom side. Also, a wraparound from Clear. And there you go. The Rakan goes in. You dive onto the back line. Sylvie is very low. He's trying to get out, but he cannot. Even Yone, closer, was looking for the follow-up there. And that's just a kill. Mahal does not get killed, but he gets pushed out of lane. I was like the feeling of everyone turning into, into a beefcake. I just think it's funny. <laughs> League of Tanks. Yep. And uh, Henna just going to dash out of the way of that ult and use the barrier as Gugger just uh, hooks the wall. Here comes Sylvie, though, and that should push the Zeri out of the lane. Uh, good job by Henna to try to get out of this one, but he does try to back in the bush, force back. So Still a successful play, even though they don't get the... F I think ideally you at least get the flash. Uh, oh, boy. Yeah, he might just kill him here. The all-out does come down, though, and he is under turret, so... Clear is going to have to back away, but guess what? Oh, uh, boy. The whole team, <laughs> it feels like, is up here. And even the Rakan quickness is going to be utilized just to make 100% sure. And it's just not a fun game for Mihail, who again chose this luck. Yeah, I, I mean, things change, so it's, it's kind of hard, but I, I do agree. There are answers either way. Um, we do have some action here, as Teleport's going to come in, but Gugger is getting bullied. The MF ult is okay. It's actually going to zone them off of Gugger and let them survive, but this Renekton is just gigantic, and they have to run away from it, as another Flash going to be utilized here by the Sadanongshim, as our root comes down and ult as well, and Jiu does not have Flash in a bit of trouble, but the damage doesn't come in! Oh! Hena is going to die, actually, takes the last turret shot, and Jiu just baits him in. You have Black Cleaver, Leandris, uh, add Blade of the Rune King, and Infernal Dragons on top of that. No, War, uh, actually Raptor is going to get hooked here, and a full MF ult hits him in the face. Unfortunately, the rest of the team is kind of zoned away. Raptor is going to get hit again, the burn! and he is going to go down somehow, barely dying to that. Gugger does get traded back. So, uh, obviously, 
the Nongshim TP is the one that set this one off. Definitely not necessary as... Mihail oh. trying to bait him in here. It might actually work as there is an MF nearby, but actually he just gets popped like a balloon! And now the MF is like, oh crap, it's a giant croc, what am I gonna do? And it's a 1v1, the flash away! He does get the kill, but it's a double kill for the Renekton. As clear, we'll win in the end. Take another look at this. Yeah, this level, oh. or this two item power spike is absolutely not Level here. up. Oh, that's level up. Question mark oh, ping. <laughs> Conqueror fully. St the fact that he Raptor as question close, mark pinged him. Uh, maybe, maybe yes, maybe no. Uh, don't seem to be too sure. Say it ain't so. Well, they're actually looking for the engage here. They are going to try to go on to Gugger, but that's a double Yone ultimate catches the Kasante, who just gets ripped to shreds. As Fisher doesn't have flash, but uh, he is just able to kite this one out as Renekton, after he uses a slice and dice, not able to get in there. Big double up, but uh, yeah, at the end of the day, still two more kills to the side of BNK Firax. Nongshim continuing to try to pressure. They do have the health bar advantage with this Infernal Drake up. I think BNK doing a really good job of exploiting that inexperience, particularly on a pick like the Cassante, where it feels kind of counterintuitive because of how tanky he is. It's, yeah, he's uh, he's taking a beating. Like Nidus side lane is going to feel great. Clear is just running out, and he has Randowitz. The Fisher doesn't really do damage to him at all, and uh, he gets the slow end. Now he's just running through three people. He is finally going to be traded back, but the rest of the team has followed up. The giant MF ult comes in, but closer immediately shuts that down, lines the ball up, picks up a triple kill, and Gugger is just food for the rest of them. BNK Fear X pick up the ace, they'll get the Baron, and they're looking good for game one. As we take another look here. Actually, he gets, yeah, gets the the knockoff just in time. Figure it out. And, uh, yeah, no, they're, they're not killing him. It's it's not going to happen. Like, Fisher is put, putting all of the damage into him as possible, and it just doesn't matter. Arm guard purchased by Sylvie just to go down. Duro did go very deep, though, as he might be... Uh, no, it's just going to get rooted up Will Mahal, who was desperate to try to kill just the Rakan, who has Warmogs. And now, Clear is going in. Zeri is getting focused. Yes, he'll go down, but Closer is in the back line. And Jiu desperate to try to run away from this one. Not the cleanest fight, but B and K Pyrex just kind of bang their head into the wall and get the job done. In a classic BNK fashion, Hannah just goes, gets popped. Nobody cares. <laughs> Doesn't change anything. Oh no. And we Trying have to ult in front of them. That's not going to work out. He's got GA as well. And that's going to be the end of the game. I haven't even talked that much, but I think we see here as well with how far behind the front line was, particularly Meow. Like, Geo just never had any space. There was always someone there to cancel. And man, what? All of S being gas. He almost did the most damage in the game, but there were actually a bunch of people who were up towards the top, including Closer, Fisher, and Jiwoo.